Britain's new anti-missile defense system to protect the Royal Navy's Queen Elizabeth class carriers as well as some other frontline warships has been declared operational the sea scepter is a short-range shield designed to provide cover against air attacks it's been developed at a cost of about 1.1 billion dollars in this video defense updates analyzes the sea scepter missile that will protect Queen Elizabeth class let's get started Britain's potential rivals like Russia and China are aggressively developing powerful anti-ship capabilities Britain's military experts have been growing conscious of Russia's belligerent behavior and rapid military upgrades at the opening of the Royal United Service Institute's conference on sea warfare UK Defense Secretary Gavin Williamson said Russian warships had approached UK waters 33 times last year compared with just once in 2010 it goes to show the increasing aggression increasing assertiveness of Russia sea wolf air defense system currently used by UK is aging and hence sea scepter has been developed sea scepter missile defense system is developed by MBDA the system uses a gas generator to eject the missile from its canister this saves the rocket motors energy and enables better range sea scepters have a range in excess of 25 kilometers as opposed to 1 to 10 kilometers of sea wolf that it replaces the missile weighs 99 kilograms and has a length of 3.2 meters the compact size enables large numbers of these to be loaded in the warships the vertical launch system offers 360 degree coverage high degrees of maneuverability and minimum launch signature the system has a speed of Mach 3 it uses data link for mid-course guidance and active radar homing seeker for the final stage sea scepter uses ships existing surveillance radar and does not require dedicated fire control radars making it very cost-effective and flexible sea scepters will be deployed in Queen Elizabeth class carriers the type 23 frigates and upcoming type 26 frigates the system has been deployed on four ships of type 23 class so far named Argyle Montrose Westminster and Northumberland three of these have tested the missile the last test was from the HMS Montrose and was used to intercept a fast-moving drone target the new type 26 frigates three of which are currently under construction will also be fitted with the system the UK Defense Secretary Gavin Williamson during a speech at the Rusi Sea Power Conference in London said fitting our warships with this groundbreaking technology not only protects our Navy but shows we're world leaders at sea Richard smart director of weapons for the MOD's procurement organization defense equipment and support said sea scepters entry into service with the Royal Navy is a significant milestone a massive achievement for everyone involved and a proud moment for the team it's really exciting to be delivering a new capability that will form part of the protection for the new aircraft carriers and will help to keep our service personnel and our country safe As per the defined parameters sea scepter seems capable of defending Britain's warships against supersonic missiles but the threat environment has changed rapidly and rivals are developing hypersonic missiles Russia is at the forefront of this technology Kinzhal air launched hypersonic missile was first disclosed by President Putin during his state of the nation address recently in a video a MiG-31 Foxhound interceptor was shown to be carrying and releasing it computer generated graphics during Putin's speech showed Kinzhal attacking surface warships though it also reportedly has a land attack capability it has a range of approximately 1250 miles and a top speed of more than 10 times the speed of sound it's also capable of carrying a nuclear warhead Kinzhal's speed coupled with the ability to fly erratically will make it almost impossible for sea scepters to intercept it thanks for watching subscribe for more videos like this hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section this will help us improve.